Beep, beep. What's up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of ways that you can start baselines for your tracks. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to get started with something when you have an idea versus when you don't. And the whole point of this video is to teach you guys how to get inspired and what you can do with what you already have at your disposal. With that being said, if you want to support the channel, make sure you head over to evilsounds.com where you can find all my sound design work. And let's get straight into this steal slash get inspired from other people's ideas. Now, some of you may already know what I'm going with this, but the problem with most producers nowadays, I feel like, is they have a lot of big egos in the sense that when I use samples, I only use one shots. I don't use bass loops or synth loops. That's cheap. Well, that producer did a master class and it was it was all loops, bro. He had no idea what he was doing on how to arrange, how to mix it, how to match, how to make all the loop ideas fit together. But here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with doing it because once you realize that all of your favorite artists out there were also inspired by other people, producers other art artists then you can start to see some connections like oh you know that one melody sounds similar to that one song oh that bass line sounds like so you know there's, there's always gonna be that there's always gonna be so the first leap is actually very pretty simple and i know a lot of you guys have spliced today i talked to my daughter and she was like you're gonna splice it up dad and i was like Fuck. assuming that you have you know we're trying to find an idea for that Here's the issue. I, I think a lot of you guys already do this. The problem is that when you guys go looking for bass loops and bass ideas, you you go to tech house packs that try to sound like other people and whatnot. And here's the thing. When you're making music, if you want to be unique, you can't be getting inspired by the same crap everyone else is, right? So it's your job as a producer to go and seek out different things that you can do so for instance one of the things that i like to do and that i think uh, a lot of people will benefit from is just look up gas bass guitar le uh, licks leaks um and the idea is that i want to find essentially like good stuff you're gonna go through all of them and here's the thing this is where you can also become a good producer because everyone can listen to a loop but not everyone can flip the loop properly and not everyone can recognize that this loop is caca and that this loop has potential from there i found this really cool loop which is going to sound like this that's a pretty good bass idea there's some pretty good notes and i think we can all agree that's a really good idea for a very solid dark tech house track a track where we're going to talk about cocaine and hook us and, and all that good stuff right so yeah, we can put the EQ8, lower the volume down a little bit. I mean, that's not too shabby, right? Now, the idea here is, of course, we have that, and you in, in here it's fair. You can stop here and say, okay, you know, my ego's not that far up my ass, so I, I'm okay with doing this, and I can make the idea come to life with the vocals I make, the synths I put on top, etc. However, if you're not the type, you're the type that's like, no, I can do this. And the other option is one, uh, we can use Ableton's melody feature, or if your ego is too big for to use that, then, then you can play it in yourself. However, we can have that, and then we have this, which doesn't sound that good because we're using uh, the Deceiver uh, Diva Edition pack. If best tech house features for uh, Diva, by the way. Uh, Okay, so now the idea from here is that we have select few notes. Now, again, the whole point of all of this is to start with something. If you get anything out of the video, it's that. You're starting with something. So, for instance, if you want to go, you're like, I don't want a groover that's slow and stuff, and I want to go more energetic, maybe we could do something like... You know, maybe we could start just dialing in something a lot faster. So I'm gonna fix this. It's that E. It's it's going harmonic in a way, out of key. So I don't like that. So we're gonna move here. Again, we're hitting the B here. I don't like that. Here, let's put some vocals to end this. Fuck you and who you came with. I know that doesn't sound that good. The bass idea is pretty solid. And from there, you'll continue improving. But here's the thing. It's at least we're starting with something. And I, trust me, guys, you can come up with some sick ideas doing this. Use rhythm and steal it. Now, here's another one. And again, the whole point of this is so you don't start with a blank slate because that's poisonous. You want to start with something, you know, and this is all there to hopefully get you inspired. And this is something everyone can do. 
Now, uh, this one, you are going to use the genre that you are in to execute a rhythm. However, it doesn't mean you have to. You can go with other ones. Oh, look, here I am. If you guys want to support on the Tech House playlist, hey, what's up? Okay. Now, assuming that you like any of these songs and there's one that you really like and the rhythm is just very good and you're like, wow, that's dope copy the rhythm and what i mean by that is you copy the rhythm you just put like let's say in the key of g minor you copy g g g g, g, g the rhythm here's the thing as long as you don't copy the notes and and do and and do the same version you'll be fine you can switch it up and create something out of it for yourself aka starting with a betty crocker cake mix but then from there once you have the cake the way you design it is the way that makes you different from everyone else that just cookie cutters it so for instance, I heard this, I'm not going to play because I don't want to get copyrighted, but it goes That's the rhythm that they have done. So I could easily use that rhythm for myself as well. Again, we're going to go with G and just do uh, do do. So it looks like we're going to start with that reggaeton and maybe one more. And then do do. That's the rhythm they've used. And then from there, you know, I'm like, okay, they'll do this. But now my head is working. Now I have something I'm going with it, right? So now I'm like, you know what? Let's go side trends on these fools. And then I'm like, all right. And then let's do it again. But now this time, let's hit more side trends. Uh, and then at the end, it doesn't sound that right, right? I think any good producer will tell you, okay, maybe we mess with that. But you see, now the track is asking for stuff and we're not just running around like a headless chicken without any idea. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then from there, you know, it's the patch we're using. Maybe we can make it a little more staccato or we can play around with the decay and all that. But now here we have the freeway patch from the Seaver Diva Edition. And maybe we can open it up. Okay, so now, you know, from there we can start to decide, oh, what kind of, um, you know, what kind of melody do we want and all that good stuff. So now this is another hard part and this is a part where you make it your own. You don't, maybe you'll go like the traditional route of just doing the one semitone thing that a lot of people look down on, but still sounds good. Right. So then you could do that or you can try and put a little bit more effort to find like a cool melody idea. Maybe we can go like. Da, da, da. Uh, you know, again, here, I'm just going off the top of my head. <laughs> Sounds like a little bit like Dom Dollar. It's all good. Maybe he got inspired by Dom Dollar for the rhythm. You never know. Da, 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 da. And there you go. Right. So now you have that, and then from there you rework it. Now with these techniques, I don't think I need to be like fucking Chris Lake or anyone to really present them to you. I think they speak for themselves, and I believe that most people do this without really knowing, but for the times that we get the writer's block, it's it's very hard to remind ourselves this because we just have this mentality at that point and stage where nothing's coming out good when we're playing on the MIDI keyboard. And in those scenarios, you need to realize, let it go, let the ego flow down a little bit. And you, you know, use sample packs, use people that provide these things for you to come up with ideas. I mean, you already play for Splice, right? So might as well use it to its best capabilities. And that's one way to do it. With that being said, though, guys, if you want to support the channel, make sure to head over to evilsounds.com. You can find all of my sound design work. I am currently running a sale on the first packs I ever made because we're going to take them off the website. It's going to be a couple of Festival Revolution, Hexagon Revolution, Tropical Revolution. These are some of the first packs I've made. Um, so it's a little sad to take them down, but they're half off if you want to get them before they're fully taken down. You know, my, it's my wife's idea. It's called the vault. It's the sound vault. It's about to get expired. But other than that, you guys take care. You guys have an amazing day. Leave a comment below if you feel like it. Much love. Peace out. Take care. Goodbye.